Firstly, Paul, after a perfect day against Woking last Saturday, must be a nice to have that kind of momentum come to your first FA Cup game of the season. Yeah, and I think we're going to need it as well. Um, Forest Green are, I think, by far the best side uh, in this league. I think they're going to get promoted and um, we're going to need to be our very best to uh, to get the win that we need, yeah. Who do you think are the key men in Forest Green's team? Uh, listen, they've, that, that they've got quality all over the pitch. Um, you know, they've... They've mixed around their front four, um, so they could play any two of those four, but certainly the midfield, Noble uh, is, is, is a good player, Traore, Carter, you know, these are lads that have played at a high, high level, and um, you know, similar to Nicky Bailey that we've got really, they, 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 they understand the game and uh, they've got a system and a shape that they understand, and I've got to be honest, I quite enjoy watching them. Uh, you've got a selection headache at the moment in retaining Dan Spence in the starting lineup, or giving George McLennan his first start. Yeah, that's right. Although I thought Dan made a good case uh, to carry on at left back. Um, George, we're looking to uh, really just see if he comes along fitness-wise and training as well. So Dan's um, you know, Dan at the moment's in charge of the shirt. And uh, Ross Stern and Rory Deakin must be desperate to get back out there after they both bagged a goal and an assist last week. Yeah, one of the things we spoke about after the Dover game was, you know, both the wide men and the, and the strikers uh, and the midfielders actually not probably scored enough goals. So it's great to see Bailey and Stern and, uh, and Deacon on the score sheet on Saturday. Uh, and obviously McAllister getting his first goal back. As I, I was actually going to come on to that, do you think Craig McAllister is the answer to our lack of goals we've had this season up front? No, we had a lack of goals at times during the season last year. Um, there'll be phases of the season where, you know, where we're scoring regularly and there'll be other phases where... Uh, we, we don't score as many uh, from the chances that we create. I, I think anyone would know that we've created plenty of chances in every game. Um, and there'll be, as I said, it's, it's more phases of the season. Sometimes you have a good run where everything goes in. And other times you'll get a run like we have had recently where you know you feel hard done by. But, you know, four goals against Woking, uh, I think that's a good start to, to get us back to, to where we want to be. And McAllister's partner up front was Chris Dixon. Do you think they can forge a good partnership with uh, Ross and Rory providing the services from the wings? Yeah, listen, I, I mean, Craig McAllister is important because he's the guy that is, is the fulcrum and he's the guy that really sets the play up for us. And I think any striker, whether it's Fitchett, Biarmu, Dixon, if they're playing off McAllister, they'll feel comfortable because they're not taking the knocks at that point. They're the ones that are running in behind and, and probably looking for the more chances. So when we play the one up top, um, we're asking our strikers to do a lot of work and obviously the goals are, are more limited. I think when we play two up top, you are looking for your second striker and he will get more chances, yeah. How massive do you think Nicky Bailey's return to the start eleven was last Saturday? As massive as Dean Beck was coming back and Craig McAllister coming back. I thought Saturday we looked uh, a physically strong team again. Uh, good height, uh, good experience as well. Uh, and then with also the pace that we got in the team and the, and the passing ability. So uh, I thought all three made a huge difference on Saturday. And um, you know I've known that all along. If you get your experienced players fit and well, then we're going to be a good team. How's the fitness of Simon Down and Ryan Burge getting on? Simon's good. Yeah, he's he's trained really well today, and Burgie's trained as well today. Uh, he's got an X-ray on Monday, and uh, and Ryan will have an injection in his ankle probably Monday or Tuesday. So we're not expecting Ryan to be out much longer than maybe another week from now. So he, he should be available for the following Saturday. And lastly, Louis John must benefit from uh, the first team football he's going to be getting at Hampton and Richmond. Yeah, I think so. We've been searching for a loan for him, a good loan. Uh, we didn't want him just to go anywhere. In fact, nor would Louis have gone anywhere. Um, and in Hampton and Dalson they've got you know, a good team, good manager, someone that we know and like and respect and I think Louis you know, hopefully will have a really good month there uh, and then like I said we need to see where we are with our three centre-halves, whether they're fit but it gives Louis that opportunity to go and get six or seven games now. Uh, Paul, thank you very much for talking to SJC TV and good luck for Saturday's game against Forest Green.